My name's Kyle Hudson, and I was once a Chinese delivery driver. I don't look Chinese, right? That's what most people told me when I came to the door. And I'd be like, well, I'm from New Jersey. What can you do, you know? Well, um, when I worked at the Chinese restaurant, it was Ming Ying. It was at the Jersey Shore at Long Branch, right in between Asbury Park and Red Bank. And I met some of the craziest people you have ever met. I mean, Chinese food goes everywhere. It goes to, you know, the hood. It goes to the rich houses. It goes everywhere. I mean, everyone eats Chinese food. And um, the way it was structured was, I, I mean, I was the only American guy that worked there. And I, I swear, the guys that I work with, and these are their American names, not their Chinese names, but uh, it was Johnny, Jenny, and Jimmy. <laughs> and uh, they've been working there forever. I'm talking like 10, 12 years, some of these people. And Jimmy, the other delivery driver, Johnny, Jenny, they ran the phones. Me and Jimmy, we did all the deliveries. Jimmy was like 40 years old and had been doing this for like 16 years. So he knew all the good spots, where you got the good tips, where it was too far away for it to be really worth it. So I would always get the ones that Jimmy didn't want. <laughs> and one day it came up, um, they, they got a phone call to, it was right at the edge of our delivery area. And uh, it was these business corporations and Jimmy was like, I'm not going there, man. That's all you, I don't like going all the way out there. He likes doing the short, quick ones, so he can do like three or four at a time. And I was like, all right, man, whatever. I like listening to the radio. If you're a delivery driver, I don't know, anyone here ever been a delivery driver? Yeah, it's like the best job ever. You get paid to listen to your own music. Like, seriously, it's awesome. So I hop in the car. I got, it's just one order. Normally, like, if it's close, they'll give you three or four, but it was so far away, I just did the one. So I'm driving out there and I get to the, the, the corporate building and, and normally, you know, you call them. So I'm calling them and this woman picks up the phone and she's like, hi, you know, we're, we're in suite 412 and, you know, we're right on the back right hand corner. So she's like, there's two of us out there. We'll be waving our arms. Don't worry about it. So I got this like, and, and the thing was, usually when you go to corporate offices, usually you're doing an order for like four or five people. And it was just like a tiny little thing of like beef chow mein. I was like, all right, you know, but whatever. And I'm driving around and I drive past these two women and I look at them and they look at me and I just keep on driving. And I call her and I'm like, hey, uh, I, I'm driving around here, I don't see you guys. And they're like, oh, we're right on the corner. So I drive past these two women again and they look at me and I look at them and I like hold up the food. And then they're like, all right, come on over. So uh, like, I park the car. And I get out and I start walking over and I can see the two women like whispering to each other. And I'm like, hey girls, how you doing? Uh, Ming Ying, who ordered Chinese food? And they're like, you're the Chinese delivery guy? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, but you're not Chinese. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> and they're like, well, the thing is, the reason why we ordered Chinese was it, one of the girlfriends that work in the office is really into Asian guys, and it's her birthday today, and we were hoping that if we ordered Chinese food, that you know we'd have an Asian guy who could come in and sing happy birthday to her. And I was like, I mean, I'll do it. <laughs> like, why not? And so they're like talking to each other, and they're like, all right, fine. $25 okay? I'm like, yeah, that's, that's fine. So I'll go in and I get like the food was like secondary at this point. Like they didn't even care. I don't even think they ate it. So I go inside and I'm in this like tiny office. Like every room looks exactly the same. And they're like, they give me this like birthday hat, like the, the cone hat and the, a birthday cake. And they're like, all you got to do is like go in there and sing happy birthday to her. And you come back, get the money and you can go. I'm like, <laughs> this isn't my normal job, you know? It sounds like another job. <laughs> and so I'm like, all right, I don't know any of these people. I'm going to go like all out. So I get, they light the candles on the cake, and I go in like, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Margaret. Happy birthday to you. And I like, give her like a wink. And she, like the whole place, is like dying. Like they are collapsing on the floor in laughter. And, and like the lady is like mortified. She blows out all the candles. I put the cake on the thing. I walk out of the door. 
And the girl's just like, nice job. They gave me the money, hop in the car, go back. So I get back to the thing, and they're like, you were gone for a long time. Was, did you find it all right? And I was like, yeah, you won't believe what happened. And I tell them the whole story exactly like I just told it to you. And I go to Jimmy. I'm like, dude, would you have done that? And he's like, no way, man. That's it. <laughs>